okay boss welcome back so as this face says welcome to my page so i hope you all are listening to me so this is the first phase that we're going to discuss so mainly it is the welcome page i want to welcome you all to my class and let me move forward okay so today we're going to discuss about computer hardware it is the new topic for class five but it is not that much new because you might have read in three four five because most of the chapters of come to subject they are repeated so but only the thing is to get upgraded so how much new how much more you get that is the thing otherwise the topic uh, come to hardware you'll be getting same in grade six also sometime in seven also sometime eight also sometime nine also so that's why topic is same so that's no need to worry only you have to upgrade your knowledge in this grade five okay <clears throat> and the contents that we are going to discuss today are introduction to computer hardware, no problem. Then input hardware, processing hardware, output hardware, and storage hardware. Altogether, there are four types of hardware in computer system that you know that we'll be discussing today. And okay, what is computer hardware mainly? Simply computer hardware is all about the physical components of a computer system. Computer hardware means the physical components of a computer system, which we can touch, which we can feel, which we can see. Computer ko kune pani testo chiz zostlay se amle chuno sakinsa desna dekna sakinsa ra masus garna sakinsa testo khalko chiz lay se amle ke baniinsa computer hardware. Simply hardware means anything that we can touch. But right now we are discussing about computer hardware. Because we are discussing in this computer science. That's why computer hardware means those hardware which are related to the computer system and which can be touched, which have physical existence. They are physically there. So that's all about computer hardware. And um, let me move forward. Okay, so let's check this slide carefully because we are going to discuss about the types of hardware. If hardware are those parts which can be touched, which can be felt, which can be seen in the computer system. What are the different types of computer hardware? They are input hardware, processing hardware, output hardware, and storage hardware. Remember these four types of hardware that we discuss in computer science. Hardware one go kure bani chuna milli chiz lai chai computer hardware one in the right. So computer sanga related kura aru computer sanga related kura aru. So they are computer hardware, and mainly they are there are four types of computer hardware. They are input hardware, processing hardware, output hardware, and storage hardware. If there is no hardware, we cannot use computer. Simply hardware is just like the physical body of us, and software is just like the shell that runs our body. There are two parts. If it is computer, there are mainly two parts, hardware and software. Hardware are the physical parts. Software are the logical parts, which will instruct the hardware to do. Right now, we are discussing about the physical parts. Physically, we have the existence. Okay, so that's to remember these four types input hardware, processing hardware, output hardware, and storage hardware. To refrain functions in computer, we need these hardwares. Okay. <clears throat> okay, you can see this picture. So computer hardware. So you can see this desktop computer. We can have an example of desktop computer or of any other computer, so no need to worry. So you can see the picture. And there we can see the different types of computer hardware. First, first of all, we can see the input hardware. For example, mouse we can see, keyboard we can see, microphone we can see. These are input hardware which are used to give input to the computer. And next one is we can see the processing hardware. And mainly, this is a system unit, and processing hardware will be located inside this system unit. Okay, CPU, central processing unit. And next one is output hardware. After processing, we need to computer need to give output through output devices. That's why computer uses output device such as monitor, speaker, and printer to give output to the user. And we can see as storage hardware, mainly inside this system you need storage hardware such as ROM, RAM, and hard disk are located to store different data and instruction. That's why you can see the different types of computer hardware. They are input hardware, question hardware, output hardware and storage hardware. In the absence of any hardware, it will be difficult to run our computer. If there is no input hardware, 
nothing can be done if there is no processing hardware no processing can be done so that's why we need all these day all these devices or hardware and sometimes i may be taking this name hardware or devices both means same because hardware can be touched so is devices also that's why we may say come to hardware or come to devices or input devices or input hardware don't get confused hardware means simply the devices that which we can touch okay, let me check our chat if there is anything so i think there is nothing to be discussed okay so that's why so come to hardware we're going we're going to discuss about these four hardwares please keep in your mind okay let me move forward okay first thing first we are going to discuss about input hardware okay so because everything get started from the input if there is no input how come to can work so that's why first thing first is all about input hardware we need to give input to the computer as data and instruction and what we need we need input hardware such as keyboard we need touch screen we need touchpad we need mouse we need scanner we need microphone we need a digital camera we need these are the input hardware that we need to give data and instruction to the computer. Computer takes input through input devices and user gives input through input hardware. And different types of input are there, so is different types of input hardware are there. If you have to give text, we need to use keyboard. If you have to give sound, we need to use microphone. If you have to give pictures and videos, we need to use camera. If you have to give some commands, we have to use touch screen, touch pad, or mouse. If you have to play games, then we can use joystick also. That's why there are different types of hardware we have. And if you have to use, uh, if you have to give some hard copy, for example, if you have to scan pictures, handwritings, drawings, then we can use a scanner also. Okay, so now let me move forward and let me show some pictures of input hardware. So you can see on the picture, these are the different examples or pictures of input hardware, just like mouse. So joystick, it is used to play games. Mouse, it is used to give commands. And mic or mic or microphone, different name you can say. Mic, mic or microphone. It means same, which is used to give sound to the computer. And you can have camera also, yeah, to give different types of, different types of photos and videos. Handheld scanner we have. Yes, to scan different things. Keyboard, we have to give text and flatbed scanner to scan different types of drawings, handwriting, signatures, like that. Okay. So, this is all about input hardware. So, everything gets started from the input. So, that's why we need to use input hardware. In the absence of input hardware, our computer does not run. Okay. Okay. After input, once we give input to the computer, the computer starts processing. And to process, come to use this processing device. Okay, Rosen has raised his hand, so let me. Uh, Rosen, okay, let me unmute him first of all. Okay, Rosen, do you have any problem? No, sir. Okay, I found you raising hand, that's why I'm doing unmute. Okay, it's okay. Ah. Sorry? Excuse me, sir. Yeah, you can say. You tell you already tell in input input hardware. No, last time we discussed about input hardware. In last class we discussed about input hardware and output hardware in detail. But today we are discussing about all about hardware. Come to hardware. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think we got it. So let me. Yeah, he has already done mute. Okay, and don't get confused. Last time we discussed about input hardware and output hardware in detail. Their types, such like mouse, keyboard, uh, printer, monitor, like that. But today we're discussing about hardware, all the hardwares of computer system. So that's why don't get confused. So this is computer hardware, and after hardware we discussed about that input and output hardware. Okay, that's why these two are similar but a little bit different because these are the main thing and we discussed in detail and later one will be discussing about processing hardware in detail about storage hardware in detail here about in overview only brief 
but later on we'll be discussing in detail about their types examples what they are used for okay that's why don't get confused okay so now let me move forward so about processing hardware once we give input to the computer computer starts processing that's why processing hardware is needed to process something to process data according to the given instruction computer needs central processing unit or country uses central processing unit in short form we call it as a cpu that's where all the data are processed with the help of central processing unit okay so that's why central processing unit is the processing hardware once input is given processing is done with the help of cpu okay the friends are joining so just welcome let me see the waiting room also here admit all okay let me move forward okay you can see the picture of processing hardware mainly you can see this system unit this is simply a box okay and cpu is located inside the system unit this is a system unit which sometimes we call it as cpu but mainly it is system unit and cpu is located inside this one now, so sometimes we may call it as cpu but actually it is system unit okay so now let me move forward and let me show the real picture of cpu okay inside that system unit we can have will be having one board that board will be called as motherboard and inside that motherboard will be seeing cpu you can see a small chip that's just like memory card but it will be bigger than memory card that is the real cpu that is the real central processing unit that will process all the data in computer system it is very, very small but it works too many things it works so fast it works too many things in the computer system okay so that's why this is the real picture of cpu central processing unit you can see this motherboard this is cpu is attached on the motherboard okay what is the function of cpu to process the data according to the given set of instruction and it gives meaningful information as an output and yeah let me show let me join from next account and let me have the names of your because we are going to post it we are going to keep this record so okay after input hardware so we'll be discussing about output hardware yes after input hardware we, just, we discussed about processing hardware once processing is done simply computer what it does it gives output to the computer that's why we need output hardware last time we discussed about output hardware in detail but let me admit me myself okay so okay and let me have some i need to keep record of your attendance so i can see many strings are okay 27 so let me have some snap like this and at last also i'll be again i'll be having attendance so how many students are taking part we need to keep record okay so after processing hardware let's discuss about output hardware and output hardware are those hardware which gives result to the world or to the user simply you can say so output hardware takes result from the cpu central processing unit and it gives to the user so simply they are the medium to give output to the user and output as for output we can say meaningful information okay meaningful information and there are different types of output that we can have like monitor printer and speaker if it is visual things we use monitor if it is sound we use speaker or headphone if it is printed form if you need in printed form we use printer that's why output hardware is used to give meaningful information to the users and let's see some pictures and types also
Okay, there are mainly two types of output hardware that we discussed in our last class. They are soft copy output hardware and hard copy output hardware. And so if it is um, output, let's talk about output. So there are two types of output. One is soft copy output and next one is hard copy output. And output hardwares are used to give this soft copy output and hard copy output. So basically, why output hardwares are used? To give output to the user. And there are two types of output. They are soft copy output and hard copy output. And soft copy output hardware is used to give soft copy, soft copy output and hard copy output hardware is used to give hard copy output. For example, let me show the pictures that will make you clear. Okay, you can see the picture of soft copy output hardware and you can see the picture of hard copy output hardware. Okay, these are the two devices. They give soft copy output and hard copy output. And I think you are not confused in output and output hardware. I hope you are not confused on this part. Output hardware gives output. Hardware le diye kuch kura chahiye ki ho output ho. Output di ni kura chahiye ki ho output hardware ho. For example, monitor chahiye ki ho monitor is an output hardware. Ki output hardware ho. But the visuals that we see, the pictures that we see, these are output. That's why don't get confused in output hardware and output. Clear? Output hardware one equals device racer. Output one equals the device one dikini kuraru to device le eco kuraru chanke racer output racer. And why we call this soft copy output uh, soft copy output that comes from monitor monitor but only output like i'm making a soft copy output one in the because the output given by the monitor cannot be touched because monitor the egg output jam is in a sock they know they were a monitor the egg output like us to one in the right so soft copy output one in the right the monitor i say given in the right so soft copy output hardware one in the right i think you are clear on this monitor when you go soft copy output hardware right here monitor but they can a visuals different types of photos different types of visuals that is soft copy output okay next one is hard copy output hardware printer is hard copy output hardware or device and the printed form the paper given by the printer after printing that is hard copy output because that paper can be touched so that's why let's not have some confusion okay so hard copy output hardware means printer Hard copy output means the paper given by the printer. And we can toss the paper given by the printer. That is why it is called as hard copy output. I think you are clear. Otherwise, you can ask. Simply go to the chat section and you can ask. Sometimes the question comes differentiate between soft copy output hardware and hard copy output hardware, or sometimes differences between soft copy output and hard copy output. Even last time I asked. So let's have clear on this. First of all, you have to be clear on output hardware and output. Khana, the khanu mane ko kura different ho. Yeah, so that's why I think we are clear on this part. Output and output hardware. Output mane ko chahi dekhi ne kura aru. The output hardware mane ko chahi the device, ho. the machine. Okay, so just the yeah, hard copy output mane ko chahi your paper, which is printed, and hard copy output hardware mane ko chahi device. Let me come to you and let me have some discussion so i'm uh, getting this output and output hardware are not last time also we discussed on this so let me unmute you all so if you have to speak the good things so let's speak so let me unmute you first of all okay okay are you all clear and on this part hello are you listening or not I can see 28 participants, so two accounts are mine. Is this clear? Any confusion? Okay, I think there is no confusion, otherwise, they would ask. So let me move. Let me stop here and let me ask some questions also. Because last time also we discussed on this part. So Okay, so do you have any problem on this part till now? So about output and output hardware like that. Okay, let me ask uh, personally also. Okay, let me. Uh, 
So let me unmute first of all Sundays. Okay, Sundays uh, are listening. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, are you clear about output um, hardware or not? Yes, sir. Mm, can you define what do you mean by output hardware? Output hardware are the hardware which from which we can touch, feel, it is here. Mm, can you share once again? Output hardware are the hardware from which we can touch, feel. Mm, I couldn't get that little good answer. So thank you for trying. Let me ask to the next your friend, the next friend. Okay, Shriya is there. So Shriya Basnet, I can see. Let me unmute her first. It's not being so. So let me refer. I can see. Okay, Abina, you can unmute once. Okay, Abina, so are you clear about this output hardware? Okay, let's uh, turn your microphone first. You can unmute. Okay, Abina, you can speak. Okay, so again, so let me mute all then. I hope you are clear. So output hardware means those hardware which gives output to the user. So all hardwares can be touched, but you need to know the differences about output hardware, about, pre, uh, about yeah, so massive a lot is coming. Okay, about output hardware, about input hardware, about processing hardware. You cannot say that processing hardware is a device which you can touch. That is not a good answer. Okay, so you cannot say next one input hardware is a hardware which we can touch. All the hardware can be touched. But what is the difference? Input hardware is that hardware which gives data and instruction to the computer. Okay, that's why there are the differences. You need to know the differences. Okay. So, somebody is raising hand. Okay, Sakshim, where is Sakshim, by the way? Let me unmute and if you have any problem, you can simply speak. Let me unmute all, okay? Okay, I have done unmute. So, Sakshim, if you want to say something, you can say. It. Okay, I think there is nothing. Okay, so let me continue my slide. So we don't have much time. We have 10 minutes. Okay, we're discussing about this uh, output hardware. There are two types of output hardware. There are soft copy output hardware and hard copy output hardware. Okay, so let's get, let's put in your mind. So, okay, let me show some pictures of output hardware. So you can see the pictures of output hardware, for example, so you can see this monitor you can see the plotter you can see the speaker you can see the projector you can see the printer you can see the headphone mainly these are the examples of output hardware okay so today's last topic is all about storage hardware okay and we discuss about input we discuss about processing we discuss about output hardware now finally we are going to discuss about storage hardware for example if there is no storage hardware then really in computer, the computing will be difficult. That's why we need to use storage hardware to store data information and instruction for future use. That's why we're getting this storage hardware. And as storage hardware computer uses RAM, ROM, hard disk, pen drive, CD, DVD, floppy disk to store data and information for future use. And later on, in next talk class, we'll be discussing about storage hardware in detail. What are what do you mean by storage hardware? What are the types of it? What are the examples of it? What differentiate between? Okay, that we'll be discussing as new lesson. 
for now storage hardware means those hardware of computer system that holds and store data and instruction for future use please let's get this definition you cannot say that storage hardware is the hardware which we can touch no 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 after discussing about the types you need to say it nicely okay and next one is so let me show some pictures of it so the streams are coming so selection is coming okay so let me move forward okay mainly so if we talk about storage hardware there are two types of storage hardware they are primary storage hardware and secondary storage hardware and primary storage hardware are directly attached to the computer system or to the motherboard whereas secondary storage hardware are external hardware which we can take and which can which we can take as portable devices just like external hard disks just like cd dvd floppy disks pen drive these are or memory card these are secondary storage devices which we can take and mainly primary storage devices are mainly used by the computer whereas secondary storage devices are mainly used by the users to store their information let me see waiting room so selection what is happening so is having some problem okay okay you can see some pictures of storage hardware so you can see the picture of cd you can see the picture of hard disks you can see the picture of pen drive you can see the picture of memory card you can see the picture of external hard disks these are some examples of storage hardware and i'm saying this is the new topic so that will be discussing in in our next class so that's why these are the examples of storage hardware okay we didn't have much time so only i can see five minutes around so we have that much time okay so today we discussed about computer hardware so the assignment for today homework for today is all about define computer hardware okay define computer hardware next one is prepare a beautiful chart or diagram to show the different types of computer hardware okay so i think we are clear on this define computer hardware what do you mean by computer hardware define it okay next one is prepare a beautiful chart or diagram to show different types of hardware just like I have shown earlier. So let me show the chart one chart. So in my second year, yeah, this you can see. Like this chart, you can show it differently. You can, if you have color, you can use it and you can write down the hardware in the middle and you can show the four types of hardware input hardware, person hardware, output hardware, and storage hardware. You can show cloud types also or different of one tree and having different apples like that also or one flower and different flowers different like that also you can show it differently let's have your own creation creativity on this part to show the different types of hardware okay you have to use these all four input processing output and storage and let me show again so next one and explain different types of computer hardware with its example next topic next question is so explain different types of computer hardware there are four types of computer hardware that we discussed input hardware processing hardware output hardware and storage hardware you need to define it first what do you mean by input hardware what do you mean by output hardware like that and no need to worry because i'll be sharing these slides to pinnacle uh, e-learning also and i'll be sharing these slides to your messenger group also that's why from there also if you don't have book you can see my slides you can read and you can complete these questions okay okay last question is explain different types of hardware means four types of hardware first of all input hardware explain it and write down its examples like mouse keyboard scanner okay like that next one like that you can do so now let me show my okay at last i want to say you thank you very much for being with us being with me in this pinnacle e-learning and hopefully you'll be getting more time in coming days so regularly so we may be getting more time and we can discuss more so and so let me